We present Non-Rigid Neural Radiance Fields, a method for reconstruction and novel view synthesis of dynamic scenes. Our method is trained on a monocular input video, for example captured by a smartphone. Once trained, we can re-render any time step from an arbitrary camera view. This allows us to render the entire sequence from a fixed novel viewpoint, or make the camera follow a specific trajectory. Furthermore, we can smoothly move the camera and freeze time of a casual recording to create a bullet time effect. So how does our method work? We start with neural radiance fields, which represent a 3D scene as a function that maps any 3D point to its opacity and color. This mapping is implemented by a multilayer perceptron. Given a radiance field, we can specify a virtual camera and trace rays from it. We then employ volumetric rendering by sampling the radiance field along each ray and integrating the samples to obtain the final image. This formulation, however, only supports static scenes. In order to capture dynamic scenes, we might, for example, decide to condition the radiance field on time as well. This, however, leads to unstable viewpoint synthesis. To avoid this problem, we represent the dynamic scene using a canonical radiance field and a deformation field. Let's consider the same dynamic scene at two different time steps. We propose to use space warping to deform the underlying canonical volume. Since the space warping has deformed the volume, we can render the deformed state using straight rays. This is the idea behind non-rigid NERF. But how is it realized in our method? We start with the straight rays. We then have to invert the space warping in order to access the geometry and appearance information in the canonical volume. That means that every sample needs to be mapped back to the canonical volume, thereby bending the ray. We implement this as a ray bending network that has the power to offset any point along the ray. It is conditioned on a latent code that represents the deformations at a time t and does not receive any explicit supervision. Furthermore, we learn a soft rigidity mask that we apply to the offsets to improve the stability of the rigid background. This rigidity network is shared across time and independent of the deformation. Both the ray banding and the rigidity networks are trained without any explicit supervision. We propose a combination of a photometric loss and regularizers for training. For more details, please refer to the paper. Here we show results of our method. We can reconstruct the input video and also re-render it into novel views. As our scene representation is in 3D, and the images are rendered by integrating samples on the camera rays, the renderings are consistent across views by design. Note the stable background in the fixed view rendering results. We now compare to prior works and a baseline approach. For these comparisons, we split the input recording into a training set and a test set. The results of neural volumes include flickering artifacts on the test set. For some sequences with strong correlations between the camera views and deformations, all methods can reconstruct the input video well. However, all methods other than ours fail to synthesize the scene from novel viewpoints. Our method estimates rigidity scores of every point in space, as well as dense correspondences, without any direct supervision. The correspondences are the 3D positions in the canonical volume after ray bending. While we can formulate ray bending, 
without the originality network and train without regularization, the resulting representation can only reconstruct the input images but shows artifacts for novel views. We show here that our proposed regularization losses are useful in stabilizing the foreground and the background. Furthermore, we show that both the rigidity network and our offset loss improve results. We can extend our monocular method to multi-view input easily, since we can associate a latent code with each time step. This ensures that deformations are consistent across different views. Here we explore the upper quality bound of our method with expensive training settings. Our method enables the joint learning of multiple time steps at very high quality. We can add support for view dependent effects to our approach. We can see that specularities on the skin are modeled well, which coincides with a reduction of hazy artifacts seen in the other results. There are several ways in which we can manipulate the learned model. Since we optimize a deformation latent code for every time step, we can interpolate them to obtain in-between results. This enables temporal super-resolution for low frame rate captures. Multiplying the regressed offsets from the ray bending network with a constant dampens or exaggerates the motion relative to the canonical model. Our method assigns rigidity scores to every point in 3D space. If the non-rigid foreground is sufficiently non-rigid, we can set those points to be invisible, which removes them from the rendering. We made many design choices in order to encourage the background to be stable. However, some undesired motion might still remain. In such a case, it is often possible to threshold the rigidity scores to segment foreground from background and set the motion of the background points to zero. Thank you for watching.